My name is Jasper, and I'm a rising junior at the Horace Mann School. And for my second milestone on my uh, Smart Mirror project, I have finished the first version of my mirror along with adding some components to the software. Um, so to start off, the mirror was essentially created with a photo frame, and I just took out the glass panel and input a two-sided see-through mirror um, that's very thin. Uh, I also, since the mirror was originally too large, I shortened it by cutting off some of the some of the legs and reattaching the top. But um, as you can see, the glue job is not that good because um, this frame is not that well made, so the sides kept pushing outwards and um, making the glue offset. But that's okay since this is just a test essentially. On the back side of the mirror, I just put some hinges to hold the mirror to the monitor so it's easily removable. Um, the whole point of this is to be modular, so that's good. Um, for the software, uh, not that much has changed from last time. I have essentially added a forecast, calendar, um, a map, and just an animation for aesthetics. So the map was uh, added by essentially taking Google's developer API, and the program just essentially gives the API a token that I've received from Google, and, um, and I put a specific location. Uh, specifically, this is around the area I live, and it shows the traffic. So if you ever want to like leave your house quickly, you can just check out the map and see what the traffic is like. Um, the calendar and the uh, the forecast work similarly. They just call APIs from websites, and um, the weather takes a key, but the uh, calendar is just free to everyone. So that was nice. Uh, and yeah, the animation I guess just looks nice. Um, I had two challenges originally with this project, and one was the problem with the legs, as I specified before, how they kept pushing outwards, making this uneven. Um, but the other challenge, which was really frustrating, was that this material, the reflective material, is extremely brittle. So working with it meant that um, I couldn't bend it at all, and so I was working with it, and someone bumped into it, and so of course it bent, shattering uh, this top part. But again, it's just a test, so I'm not that mad about it. Um, and so I just replaced it with some clear tape, and so yeah, thank you.